I will do all I can to live up to this honor. This approach seems overly complicated. Can I use my lightsaber instead? You started the party without me. Kaizen says you're a herald. You look like a Jedi to me. According to Kaizen, I'm the scorekeeper's herald. It's a long story. As nicknames go, I'd look for something a little... snappier? I dislike being told what to do. Captain Nellix with Republic Expeditionary Forces. I'm sure your rank impresses the locals, but I'll take things from here. Uh, yes sir. He thinks he has power. He thinks he can use the Force, and he wants Jedi to train him. He won't let me go unless you help him get into the Jedi Temple. You can do that, right? Get the Jedi Masters to train him? I suppose one can't be right all the time. I could certainly get used to being a celebrity. The Force can do terrible things to a person, Gand. Do you want a demonstration? It was a pleasure doing business with you. The Council has sensed your arrival on Terrace. An intriguing world. I can smell how intriguing it is from here. If you're here to see Theron, he's... Well, I've been waiting for him to get back. For hours and hours. I imagine Narshada's full of actual women to distract him. The Mountain won't be happy when he finds out what you did. That's what they call the Kinton King's leader, by the way. The Mountain. Three guesses why. I'm not here to play your stupid guessing games. You must be the one Master Yuan mentioned. Must be. If we weren't Jedi, I would say I could tell, because you are as cute as described. Have you lost your mind? Master Tykin is an expert in this wilderness. We had received regular reports from him, but he has fallen silent. Maybe he got overconfident, and he's lost in the mud somewhere. Ah, Jedi, welcome back. General Vox and I were just discussing strategy. We haven't stood this proud since our house was young and building its first alliance with House Pantir. Thank you, Jedi. Just make me your delegate already. What's he going to do? Turn the sand to the dark side? Did it work? Did you see Master Eris' vision? It was glorious. The Force revealed its secrets to me. Amazing! <coughs> what did you see? Just a lousy wall carving. Relax, you're safe now. You dare impede a Sith in his duties? I should cut you down where you stand. An inspection? I'm... Uh, please forgive me. I, I, I meant no disrespect. Perhaps your officers would be more motivated if they saw what happens when the Sith are displeased. But, but I, I've served the Empire loyally. The order's been given, sir. I know better than to question a Sith. Please excuse us. These actions only bring you closer to the dark side. They will destroy you. Good grief. It's like listening to my old master all over again. I do believe I'm really feeling the benefits of some fresh air and exercise. Who would have thought? And the company of a true intellectual equal hasn't hurt either. So next time you complain about the agony of genius, I'll know you're full of nonsense. Ah. I wasn't sure if you'd be foolish enough to come aboard, Jedi. But I can sense your presence. Did the docking starship clue you in as well? We name you Varsenthor, Warden of the Order. How will I ever repay such generosity? No, no, there is no need. Whatever you say. It's incredible to be in the presence of something so old and influential. It was only a number. Not like you were mutilated when you lost it. The LT forgot the best part, Jedi. Valon can't die. Yes, Lieutenant. You should really have opened with a joke. Thought I'd find you skulking there, Jedi. You're gonna pay for that insult. You and the Republic. It seems I didn't hit you hard enough. The Jedi have sometimes opposed our more unconventional weapons. Your ethics cost us credit. The anguish of the scientist, burdened with petty, I mean, always vigilant against evil. Ah, oh, you're that overseer, aren't you? Can I... Now, wait a minute. What's he doing with the power junction? Hey, you're no Sith! This man is taking the power junction apart on my orders. It's a disgrace. It was serviced yesterday. You found whatever you came for. There's nobody else here. Now you're leaving. Yes, yes, I... <laughs> Talking to myself, I must be slipping. 
If we ever disagree, Jedi, please stick to a convincing argument. Tykens lost it. He trapped them, set a fire nearby, and ran off. No! What if he was trying to lead them to safety? They ignored him and wandered off. It must be nice to live your life in ignorance. Strength. We were strong once. The weak perish on Terras. I... No! No, please! The darkness comes to swallow me whole. Don't worry. Your pain's about to stop forever. I already know how to stop the plague. By killing those you could instead shield? <laughs> Good news. One of my guys from Hoth got a promotion. Private Lavik made it to specialist. You had my attention and lost it, Lieutenant. Fetch a Vibromop droid. I want this ship to sparkle. We must fortify the Republic with its strongest members and send this army of light out against the darkness. I'd have a better chance of winning an argument with a rock. So if you were going to slice Narshadar's traffic control towers, what channel would you cut? Any channel, I suppose. Apart from 552. Too risky. 552 is the only channel that would present a real challenge. Seriously? Soon, the combined strength of your masters will make me the most powerful Force adept who has ever lived. If you love the Force so much, prepare to become one with it. Glorzo proposed a contest. The Scavenger and I would head into the Val asteroid field, hopefully surviving more than two minutes. I had the last laugh. Clever piloting is no match for knowing certain navigational algorithms. I got the stone, returned days before the Scavenger, and exchanged it for Sweet Holiday. That's the most ridiculous story I've ever heard. All Padawans must first learn humility. So, find a mop and bucket and start with the cargo hold. Humility, huh? The Master Satil told me to tell you a Jedi Master needs humility more. So do it yourself and stop teasing your Padawan. What do you think, boys? That was a little too easy, wasn't it? Aye. Let's see a real challenge. Easy? I, I take exception. You're trying to kill us. On my honor, this is the last time. Beat my champions, and we'll talk. You mendacious vagrant! Twice now you've broken your promise. Everyone needs to be tested every now and again. How's that for the rookie, Hawkeyes? Guys, tell me the other Hawkeyes are just ignoring me. I would if I wasn't ignoring you myself. I could turn this hack off, you know. If I wasn't inside Republic Headquarters. Most Tyrell has fallen so hard, we don't even have the strength to hope. It will take more than my word to convince them. In other words, you're all too full of self-pity to help yourselves. I contemplate the carving for a sign to guide me. All shards are one. The pattern is... is... no vision or sign. Improper. What is improper is waiting in a damp cave without results. I came for information, not to be dragged into a debate. Huh. I would be offended, but you make a fair point. The last person to use the Noeticon got so tired of hearing these two yammer, he shut us down. Let me guess. House Tyrell would like me to stand down the army that's at their gates and perhaps join them? No, they'd like you to put on a dress and do a jig. Of course they want you to join them. How much are those security passcodes worth to you? Are you actually demanding money to save the Republic? Perhaps we aren't so different. But sadly, that won't save you. I have already won. Really? Because I'm almost positive I'm still alive. Uh, can we talk for a minute? There's something I think you should know about me. You once dressed up as a hut to get an insanity discharge? Just when I think you're civilized, you start eating pieces of yourself. The White Maw is mine. Along with this ship. When she takes to the sky, the Outer Rim is going to tremble before... What the... That, Captain, is our signal that Lieutenant Teresso has disabled the flagship's engines and killed your men. But please, keep boasting. Now the bad news. Lou Organa has been kidnapped. I fail to see why this is important. Why can't you people ever help yourselves? I was under the impression you had agreed to help us. Wow. There's useless, then there's you people. You should feel honored that someone of my rank would see to your grievances. I'm Ambassador Averdon. This is Barish Fanak Toril, one of the system's most prominent business leaders. Welcome. What a lovely couple. The wedding should be spectacular. Why won't you accept that our victory is inevitable? Destroying my servant won't end this. 
In that case, killing you might be more productive. Our troops died because of his treachery. They were so proud. They would have served your Republic well. Considering Blaze has cut them down in droves, your planet's soldiers are clearly of little use. We need you. Healing takes life from one to save another. Painful, survivable. You appear worthy. Your friend also seems worthy. Gaiden Co. is fortunate. Will you take the risk, Outsiders? He needs physical or mental strength, Theron. And you are a genius. Absolutely not! I won't indulge this pseudo-medical... drivel. Theron, you're so commanding when you're cross. Take the boy to an actual medical professional. Otherwise, leave me out of this. Your strength of will can withstand anything. No, you failed to guard him. You clean up the mess. The scorekeeper would smile upon such a sacrifice, Kaizen. A Republic soldier saving a potential mystic would send a powerful message to the Voss. Spare me the pitch. I'll do this. But for Gaiden Co., not you. Your Force abilities are incredible. Maybe strong enough to save him. You won't even try, will you? Fine, I'll help poor Gaiden Co. The pain, it's, it's burning me up. I... Uh... Jedi younger than you endure far worse in their trials. This isn't too... too... <laughs> Maybe you've neglected your physical training for too long. I did this for Gaiden Co. So skip the attitude, all right? Ever watch a mind being broken by the Force, Doctor? It's quite horrific. Uh, yeah. So you'd better talk fast. What? You can't. My mind is all I have. That's a shame. But what's one more insane scientist in the Empire? <laughs> I don't want your stupid cloak, just give me the message. I will remain neutral. So should Vaskar. Not Empire nor Republic. Not yet. I would think you would be more appreciative. I say what is necessary. Jedi, Holiday and I have an announcement to make. Then I hope it's a lovely wedding and you have a dozen hollow children. Oh, Theron, that's a thought. <laughs> Moving along. Yes, you must need me or the satellite system pretty bad. I'll take the satellite system then. Defense technology would be impressive. Something powerful enough to say destroy a whole Imperial fleet. How do you think my training's going? Your combat technique is still sloppy. Your control and focus still need a lot of work. I know, I can always do better. However do you hope to win this war? Your death will bring peace. One more death, and the galaxy will be perfect. I see. When I become mystic, you shall witness my visions. I see we're the friendly type. Thank you. No time to chat. I'm on my way to bigger and better. It really doesn't seem like there's any point to all of this. I think I can safely speak for all present when I say that the summit applauds your efforts. Indeed. But I have to say, Jedi, I'm at a loss as to how to proceed from here. That sounds very much like your problem. And very little like mine. All things pass. Accept this, and the Force will embrace you. Goodness knows, I've wasted enough valuable time getting to this point. Remember, as Master Dorak once wrote, the wisest gardener respects the audacity of a stone. Huh. Thank you. I'm sure we all feel enriched by that.